It's just a game. That's all it is. It's a game. Ah, uh, so this is what happened. <coughs> Excuse me. It smells so bad in here. Gas and oil. I got really gotta change an oil pan gasket on this. We gotta lift up the engine and stuff. It's a nightmare. Oh, this guy really is. This guy really now. Okay. Uh, we sold the oil pressure sender socket we had. We bought a KD one made in Taiwan. This was the deal. Um, when I first got it, I put this in. Wouldn't even go in this far. Wouldn't go in that far. Now I got it to go in this far. This fits, but still, not good. I don't know if we're gonna keep that one or sell it. We have to bore this out with a Dremel, with a cutoff wheel, a grinder. I spent like three hours on it. I'm not shitting you when I say that. Maybe even four hours I spent on it. And I think I broke myself doing it. But that's what happens when you get old. So, did some little research. We went on the old computer. And we found this new. It's $68.28. Sure, you probably will get some discount off the truck guy. That's just the MSRP. There are deals that go on with snap-on tools. But did I pay that much? No. We gotta do a whole video on that because I bought it used. You see the code? That's 2000. Year 2000. Kind of old, but clean. Very nice. So I put this in here. Look at that. Not only is it lighter than a Taiwan socket I had, it fits the sensor better, and the sensor does not scrape like it did with the Taiwan socket I had. The only thing it doesn't have is a hex on the bottom, but I couldn't use the hex on the other one anyway. So we got that for $32, I think, shipped from North Carolina. Very clean, 17 years old, but very clean. There's one on eBay now, it's a Snap-on A120, if anyone's looking for one, you can go bid on it, I think it ends in about three days. If it's a GM socket though, very nice. Probably will also work well in a back of an LS engine, because on this car it's down low on the, driver, on the driver's side this way, and then on the other car it's up high in the back of the intake, but then on the Chevy, on the LS it goes straight down in the back of the engine. So. That is cool, you know. Did we was it smart move selling that or we have it worked? I don't know, but it was kind of shitty. This is a nice upgrade. This I'm probably gonna sell even though if it does it does one and one sixteenths and one inch, but I have to go factor in my four hours of time that I took for that. I still got this. We upgraded this too, because we got a um we had a Chinese one which sucked, this K D one. Made in USA, the guy still has a couple of them, they're made in China now. So much better construction, it's thicker. It really works well on that clip, the other one I had was a flimsy piece of shit. Sold it. <coughs> so, that won't fight me anymore. Got the other one. The straw is getting very heavy. We got an impact screwdriver a while back. That's an old KD one too. KD's gone, gear, went, gear wrench bought them out. Got that thing, which is pretty cool. Might even be rusting now again, holy shit. So much humidity in here. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Now we got a ignition file. Those are pretty cool. Was made in USA, now made in Mexico, but not so bad. This is not China. It's probably right over the border. Uh, what else we got? Long 3A ratchet we now have. Long one. Long. I don't know why we're buying all this crap, but we just are. Uh, what else is new? We got some more wobblers. I was upgrading the collection because we still need a couple more stuff. And I'll be very satisfied with what I have. We got, we got rid of the Craftsman 21 and upgraded to a Snap-on 21. Used, but freaking clean. I polished them all up too. Makes them look nice. Um, that guy was an idiot the way he shipped that, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I polished up the... Uh, the airplane wrenches, other zero offsets too, they look very nice. They we're pretty beat up. You can polish tools, I didn't even know that. Uh, but this was a good one, I'll make a clip when I first got it. Um, again, how people are just stupid. We got a whole um, standard set now, snap-on, shorties, 
Because the ones I had, I had like a mix of 12 points and whatever, and they were old and beat up. Old Crescent ones fit kind of loose, but okay, but not precision for like rusty stuff. So we got these 2004-2005 uh, set, but the guy shipped it, and he bends the rail in half. I'll show a picture, or my little video clip of it after this. <coughs> um, he, and then he's like, right, maybe I'll show it to right, send me a message, tell him, man, like, that was kind of messed up the way you did that, you know? Like, I wish you would have just, uh, even if it cost more money, you lost out on shipping anyway, charged me like 10 bucks. It was like 13 50 to ship, you sold on the package. I obviously didn't pay that. And I best offered them to, um, like way less than what the going price was, even like used. They were, these dumbasses would bid them up to 160 170 180 This set, I got it for way less than that. Um, came out to like $11 a socket, which isn't so bad. It's like almost craftsman prices in the made in China these days. Um, Especially for the big ones. So yeah, the guy bends it in half, puts it in a package, I get it. It's all freaking messed up. I hammer and dolly the rail. The rail's a cheap one anyway. I have one over here. They're like three fifty you buy these for. Actually like Snap on sells these the cheapest. They're made in Mexico, but decent quality. Same rail. Um yeah. And dude writes you, Oh you I d I don't care, you got a deal on it, blah blah blah. I didn't know I bent the rail. Yeah, right. The only way it could fit in there. This lion. This lion about shit. The only way it could fit there is if he bends it in that package. Because I straightened it. I tech it in the box. It wouldn't fit in it. But people. I think we're done with the uh, the horse trade enough. With the, uh, the upgrades for now. We got a good start. We're still trying to get rid of some stuff. I'll polish this one up. Because this was pretty dull. Still is pretty dull. It looks better. And, uh, yeah. That's that. Good people on eBay, though. They, like, oh, people do their, um, their wrongdoing, but they, they don't want to admit to it. <coughs> they want to admit, like, they did everything fine. Nothing's wrong. You got a deal. Um, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm great. I got my money. I sold you freaking rigged up shit, cost you time, and I didn't say I was going to do it, but I did it anyway because I did what's good for me. Oh, I got that one too, along. Yeah, we've been spending some money. Wheel and deal. Yeah, the story on this is I got another one from South Carolina, but the freaking guy sent it to me, and like the handle's all busted on it. Not busted up, but some little like chips and cracks and stuff, and tears. That's not warrantyable, you gotta spend like... 15 bucks or something on that thing that little handle it pops off pops on not so bad um but the dude the, totally ignores me i'm like he said this was new but the handle is like all beat up what's going on here buddy he ignored me had to do like a credit card claim ebay claim well after the credit card claim he started talking on ebay so i got to return it um yeah the label was sent to me all that shit Again, people are dishonest. Just want to hide behind their crap. So it would have gave me a fifteen dollar discount or something. Their twenty dollar discount would have been fine, but I didn't want even want to do that. So screw them. So that's a horse trading on the uh, the tools. Yeah, don't sell what you have sometimes because it is working. That was a stupid move with the sensor.